Uh, we're here at Long Beach Comic Con 2013, and I'm here with this awesome uh, gentleman here, dressed up as Iron Man, his own take on it. Uh, what is your name, sir, and can you describe your costume and how you made it? Okay, uh, my name is Daniel. I'm with uh, Daniel Pine Designs. Daniel Pine Designs? Okay. okay. Uh, how I made the costume was basically the uh, do-it-yourself standard of using a foam, flex foam. It's flex foam. Okay, let me pan out take a look. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious. Okay, yeah, and I can see it's kind of cracked in some areas, but it still oh, looks yeah. pretty impressive. It's, uh, the thing is, I built it, it took me six days to build, and uh, I'm still in the beta testing phases of it, you know, finding where the weaknesses are, where it structurally needs to be reinforced. Uh, again, there's guys on there, you go on You go on the R RDF, I believe, Okay. Uh, things like that, research at YouTube, uh, big ups to a guy named Stealth. You go on YouTube, check out Stealth. Stealth, okay. He obviously has some of the best uh, cosplay of the Iron Man foam technique. And the helmet looks modified. Where did you get the <laughs> helmet? The helmet I just picked up at Toys R Us. I had a different helmet, but because uh, Robert Downey Jr. actually tagged it for me with his autograph, I had to do this last-minute effort. I had to go to Toys R Us, buy the helmet, slap something on the back. It's basically just... Uh, the electronic helmet and then the regular one that I just Oh, did. okay, you pieced it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And put them together. Ingenious, ingenious last I mean, minute improv. I have some stuff going on on the inside. I have uh, some foam so that it, it's wearable because it is absolutely uncomfortable without those uh, adjustments on the inside of the helmet. No, I can I understand that. I imagine it still gets pretty hot. <laughs> it's, it's like an oven in here because, I mean, we're obviously, we're standing under all these lights. It's uh, I didn't bring a fan. I should have brought one. Anyway, Maybe next time. And learn. how did you make your? That's a pretty impressive chest plate. How did you make that? Okay, uh, I went to AutoZone, bought one of those uh, strips, the LED strips. Okay. Slapped a nine volt battery onto it and also a toggle switch. So okay. Right here, I have a. Uh, I don't know if you see it on off. Oh wait! Oh, impressive. So I got a toggle switch here where I can get to it easily. Also for the microphone, so on. Okay, so you got off. a microphone as well. Right now it's off. Oh. It's back on. Okay. Everything so, is very, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? It's in easy reach. That's impressive. So before long, you'll have a real suit of Iron Man armor with all the things you add to it. You know, the real suit of Iron Man I hear is not even a real Iron suit. It's mostly computer graphics. Well, yeah, it is. It is. And then I did, you know, do the Robert's interview. He even. Uh, gave away that uh, he's not really in the suit all the time. Like he goes, he said, if the helmet's down and I'm doing something cool, yeah. that's not me. I'm at a, I'm getting a latte somewhere. No, fair enough. And then if he has the the, the face plate up, he's probably wearing. He might even be wearing a green suit, and then they just CGI on it's it quite his body. Possible. I mean, you know, the thing is, there's people that get paid for that. You know, he, he's paid to be Iron Man, and to, I'm sure he's gotten into the suit once or twice. You know, just for the just for the fun of it, but, you know, everybody has a job to do, whether it be the stuntman, whether it be, you know, him doing of course. acting, you know, but he's still Iron Man. Anyway, and it's cool for me to use this on Amberstreet.com. You can totally use it, whatever you want to do with it, man. Have fun, go with it. Rock and roll, baby. Anyway, this is Steve Puck Star Rays at Amberstreet.com. You have a nice day, and I will see you 25 billion years. I will.